Hi everyone, Cheryl here. I wanted to wish you all a very merry, merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a great time with their family and their friends. Um, I'm here because I wanted to share with you a project that I completed for the Cutting Cafe. Uh, so for this week's challenge, we had two files to choose from. We had the wine bottle shaped card set as well as the wine glass shaped card set. Um, so I used the wine bottle card set. And so I used, um, mainly one paper stack. I did use one small piece out of another one and I'll tell you guys that one in a minute. But the uh, main paper stack that I use is Me and My Big Ideas. Sorry for that glare. Um, and this one is, give me one second. This one is the black and white block. And I believe I got this from Michaels if I'm not mistaken or mistaken. <laughs> Um, and then I also used one piece from the Bella Armour stack, which is by DCWV, and you can get that one from Michaels. So what I did was I did a layout. Um, I am doing a mini album. I shouldn't say mini album because it's not a mini album. I'm doing a um, scrapbook for my cousin who got married earlier in August. I had did her wedding bouquets, so I'm in the process of making her book. And this is going to be one of the layouts that's actually going to fit inside of a pocket in the book. Um, so I thought this would be really cool because I wanted to use this file and it was perfect. So as um, one of my friends like to say, this is a two for one. <laughs> so this is a, what size is this? I think if I'm not mistaken for my measurements, I believe this is eight and a half by ten and a quarter, I believe. Um, is the size of this uh, layout. So it's just black cardstock and then I backed it with um, some pattern paper and then here's the wine bottle you can see here so I kinda just used some glitter paper and this is from Joann's their open stop paper um, the silver glitter one as well as the black gl glittered one. Sorry I'm getting tongue tied. Um, and So that's the way that looks and so it just says time to celebrate and then I took a a ribbon slider and a flat back pearl in red because her favorite color is red um, and then this opens over like this and it pulls out so you can actually add like a picture and then maybe stick some white paper here for some journaling and it just slides right back underneath there I only glued it down like from right here and then all along the side and then on the bottom okay and then right here it says our little tail and this is the piece that's from the Bella Amor stack and what I did was I just backed that onto some silver glitter paper as well. And then I put two doves here from my stash. And then this piece right here, here's just some ribbon. And let's see, this ribbon I got from Michaels. So it's wired ribbon, so you are able to kind of curl it or move it just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. So to keep it shaped. And what I did was I created like a little fold out. And so you're actually able to house more pictures. So she can have four pictures on this side and then three pictures on this side. Okay. So just, you know, plenty of real estate um, just on this one little page because she has a ton, a ton, a ton of pictures that she gave me. So that is my project for this week. Be sure to check out Regina um, at the Cutting Cafe. She has a ton of ton ton tons of files um, and then for everyone that participated in this week's challenge um, be sure to check them out on the blog and again everyone have a merry merry Christmas happy New Year's if I haven't posted another video by then but I hope to actually I believe I will because I, I have some more projects that I want to try to crank out while I'm actually um, um, on vacation <laughs> so I can kind of get some of that stuff out um, but yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, um, throughout this year. Um, I really do appreciate it. Love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.